If you're an expert, you will be attacked. Count on it. Hi, I'm Alan Barry, and this is another episode of Expert Dig. This is where we investigate experts and we evaluate their public performances. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Dig and Mr. Terry Duffy, the CEO of CME Group, one of the world's largest and leading commodity derivatives trading companies. In May of 2022, Congress held a hearing to discuss FTX, the cryptocurrency exchange, which was kind of in competition with CME Group. This is many months before FTX went down in bankruptcy flames and before the company's founder, Sam Bankman-Fried, was arrested and charged with multiple counts of fraud. At this hearing, Bankman-Fried claimed that FTX was, well, it was great. I I believe that the uh, amendment that we uh, put forward would help promote healthy markets. And of course, Mr. Duffy expressed his opinion as an ardent opponent of FTX. This is a nightmare. About two hours into the meeting, Congressman Ro Conan of California entered the conversation and for some reason, he showed his stripes as a supporter of Bankman-Fried. Uh, Mr. Duffy, you obviously have uh, very strong opinions about cryptocurrency, so let's start with the basics. Uh, could you tell the committee uh, what you understand and how you define blockchain? And can you tell us some of the use cases uh, of cryptocurrency for um, the American public? Now, this should be a red flag for any expert. Will you define? When an expert receives a smug request for a definition like this one, the question is probably a trap. One of the quickest ways to dismiss an expert is by bringing their competence into question. And one way to bring competence into question is by exposing gaps in knowledge. Representative Conan said that his question was for the American people, but that was probably not his true intention. This question was part of Conan's attempt to dismiss Duffy as an expert, as a credible witness. That's what it was for, and Duffy probably knew it. Yeah, you know, I had a conversation with somebody in the industry, and I believe that the use case of cryptocurrency... If you could start with the definition of blockchain, how do you understand blockchain? The, the blockchain is, is a node, uh, either centralized or decentralized, uh, run by different platforms with parts of information that only certain people that have access to it can uh, change that information. And once it's in the blockchain, it stays there. And in order to amend the information, it is a lot of procedures and protocols to go through the blockchain. It's a very complicated procedure. I think it's... Okay, we can stop here because, sorry, Duffy, that is just not a great definition of blockchain. I mean, well, maybe it isn't completely wrong, but it's just, it's just not great. And because the definition is weak, Kana will use it as evidence of a fault in this testimony. Experts should master the definitions of their domain. Doing so will increase your credibility and save you from embarrassment and tons of frustration. Now, another way that people attempt to dismiss the testimony of an expert is by revealing any form of statement or comment that demonstrates a falsehood. Having whacked Duffy over the head with questions about a definition, Representative Kana will now move on to perceptions of false statements. Sir, I, I, I want you to, after this, submit something that is accurate, recognizing you're giving testimony to the United States Congress. You don't know much about cryptocurrencies. You're opining on cryptocurrencies, and then you're giving false statements. So there we have it. People will try to dismiss you as an expert Often they will try to do it by revealing gaps in your knowledge. Alternatively, they might accuse you of falsehoods or inaccuracies. Now, Terry Duffy has run some of the largest derivative exchanges in the world, and he's done so for decades. Meanwhile, sitting right next to him, Sam Bankman-Fried, who at the time of this hearing may have been committing some of the largest financial fraud in human history, yet, Duffy was the one 
that was attacked, not Bankman Freed. This, this can happen. Less than eight months later, FTX was bankrupt and Bankman Freed was facing more than 100 years of jail time, yet Duffy was the one that was attacked. Rarely is an expert like Duffy vindicated so quickly or so convincingly. Experts should know their definitions. All due respect to Duffy, he didn't nail the definition. And they should be prepared to be attacked even when those attacks are baseless.